What's going on, everybody? I'm W. And I'm the Thick Baby. And we are going to be bringing you some nerd pop culture. we got some awesome topics today. We've got our favorite actor, or at least my personal actor, returning for a Spider-Man movie, Sony doing some layoffs, and you can get this awesome pre-order on a Dune 2 collectible. Let's figure out what it is. All right, Sony revealed that it is laying off 900 people, which is about 8% of their workforce. Uh, this is including closing down their London studio. Uh, what does this mean for us? Well, this will impact their first-party studios, including Insomniac Games, which makes Spider-Man, yep. and the newest Spider-Man, which everybody loved, uh, Gorilla Studios, which makes Horizon, as well as uh, Fire Sprite, which is also Horizon. Oh, man. Yeah, so we could not. There could be effects to Horizon's future gameplay. And Naughty Dog, which is The Last of Us and similar games like that. Uncharted, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah so this could affect all those games with all the layoffs they're making right now. I feel like this is on the heels of Xbox acquiring Microsoft and all that, that oh, there's just so much happening with Sony that trying to compete with them that they're making layoffs, and it's not looking good for Sony right That's now. That's rough. I mean... So you don't think they're just moving studios or closing things? No, down I think a they're bit, getting or? affected not only by uh, AI in writing, art, everything, with needing that with the writer strike and everything. Yeah. That they got that going on. They got Xbox just growing exponentially Huge. right now. Yeah. I mean, Game um, Pass is massive for them. Yeah. Uh, they need some games that are Sony exclusives coming out that are going to be big. Oh, good luck. I mean, man, I'm a big Sony guy, but that is some bad news yeah, for Sony. Yeah, it's not good because a lot of the games I just listed were just the top games, and yeah. I don't want to see them go down. Naughty Dog, I was like, man, there goes the entire Nathan Drake collection. Yeah. You got The Last of Us gone. Oh, so we'll see how they're doing. I feel like they might be branching real hard into their movie segments with Sony Entertainment, but yeah. we'll see what they're doing. Uh, next one I got is a little... <laughs> Little sensitive, but a Peoria, Illinois police department tried to recruit new officers with a Call of Duty themed ad, oh, as if no. they couldn't. Like, what's wrong with them? I, <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. But basically, it was three white guys holding guns, pointed at everybody uh, on the poster, and the tag was uh, "Stop playing games and answer the Call of Duty." Oh <laughs> man! So not only targeting kids, anybody playing Call of Duty, but just so not right. Just what are yeah. you what are you doing? Uh, since this, they've had to apologize and take down the ad. But come on, man. Yeah, that's rough. It's almost as bad as like Fortnite was doing yeah. it. You know, like hey, I, you guys like shooting people in video games? Come to the police. <laughs> <laughs> Smart ad, guys. Smart oh, ad. That's rough. I yeah. don't think that was good advertising. No, not at all. Uh, <laughs> what do you got? <laughs> Let's move on from that. Uh, well, speaking of Sony Entertainment, we might have some really good news. Uh, Thomas Hayden Church, who played Sandman back in the Sam Raimi movie, the Spider-Man 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I um, remember him. Green shirt striped. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he came back again to uh, do Spider-Man No Way Home as well. And during an interview, he said that Raimi was wanting to make another Spider-Man film the with best Spider Tobey Maguire. Ooh. Tobey Maguire's Sam Raimi partner up Spider-Man again would be solid. Off the charts. It would be awesome. And then he was going on to say that the movie studio Sony Pictures had an option for Church to come back as Sandman for a fourth film, and he's on board for it, but it just hasn't right. happened yet. But they hit him up and said, hey, you want to come back and be Sandman again? All right, all right. So... I'm thinking that Sony is kind of setting it up, especially after you were just talking yeah, about the whole they need something. downsizing a little bit. You know, hmm. Come on, Sony, give us some good movies. I mean, I'm not even... Would they continue with a fourth off of the original ones with Tobey Maguire, or would they just do a whole new one, maybe throw Miles Morales in there and oh. do a Spider-Men? That would be interesting. Yeah, that would be a good one. That would be cool. And in other news, <laughs> so Dune Part 2 hit theaters. Reviews are looking great. It's going through the roof. It's breaking records. That well, popcorn bucket, though. Record. That popcorn bucket. You haven't seen the popcorn no, bucket? No, they have a special oh, popcorn bucket? Yeah, they have a special one that looks like, like a sandworm sand coming oh, out. Oh, my but God. But everybody's just being like, just go get the popcorn bucket with butter. Oh, man, <laughs> it's wormy. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. 
uh, but it's breaking records in the box office. Uh, I loved the book. The second book was great. Um, pretty excited to see it. Haven't yeah. gone to see it myself. But if you are looking to catch an exclusive collectible item, pre-orders are live right now to celebrate the release of Dune Part 2. You can go and get the Steel Book Edition, which is available for a $35 pre-order. Some sites out there are marking it up. You might find it $38, $40, bucks, but I believe Amazon has it the cheapest at $35. Okay. Go check it out. Looks pretty sweet if you collect the Steel Books. Um, I do myself. I have a couple of them, so I'll probably... Uh -huh. Try and get it eventually. I probably won't pre-order it, though. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm just ready to go see the movie. I haven't gotten a chance to go see it. Ooh, well, we could go see it today. Mm -hmm. Just saying. All right, All right. move on. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> so, in other news, we also got Shogun, which was a show from the 1980s. Yeah. Which was awesome. It was a great show. It is based on the exploits of William Adams, who was a ship pilot who was shipwrecked on the shores of Japan in the 1600s. Okay. And he became the first Englishman to ever make contact with Japan. Um, Interesting. When they got there, though, the Jap Japanese and the samurais thought they were all basically like demons or weird things and stuff. And they were. Prisoners. And <laughs> they threw them in jail as prisoners and like one at a time were chopping off their heads one day at a time. So right. it's pretty brutal, pretty gruesome show. Highly recommend checking it out if you are into like that whole culture and just like learning about a little bit of history. It's based on a true story. Absolutely fantastic. It is on Hulu, and the first episode aired, I think, last week. Yeah, I saw previews for it. It doesn't look bad. Yeah. I might check it out. Um, I did watch it. I've seen the original, too, so I mean, okay. I'm a pretty big fan. It's great. All right, all right. I'll check it out. But that's all I've got for my nerd pop culture. Hey, everybody. I'm the Thick Baby. And I'm W. And thanks for watching our nerd pop culture segment of the New School Gaming Podcast. If you haven't heard, we have merch out. You can head to newschoolproject.us to pick it up. The link is in the bio. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll be back next week with another nerd pop culture segment.